but I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna go right into a mission. I'm gonna do a hero's way, which is just really an assassination mission, honestly, because it wants you to go into this freaking town or village or whatever, and and uh, kill the Spetsnaz off commander or whatever, and. Yeah, you go there, you just kill the dude, and, or, but I am going to try to capture him. Because most of the dudes they tell you to kill, if you just capture them instead, you get like rewards for it, sort of. It's worth it. But, I think this might also be the mission where you get the dog too, but I'm not really sure. So for this mission, I might change my Uniform, but I don't know if I'm really going to change anything else. Wait, what's this one? Yeah, it's a little sneaking suit. So the sneaking suits just take away your footstep sounds and stuff like that. And, like, if you read to the top right, it, it uh, takes away heat detection, too. So enemies can't detect you with night vision goggles, stuff like that. But I... I'm gonna wear the naked snake outfit, cause why the heck not? <laughs> All right. Hey, okay, you can see snake stats and stuff like that. They're all A pluses, A plus plus. And I'm actually not. Well, you know, I could have him out just just to kind of give him some stats here, but for the most part, you really don't need him. You can pick which time. I either do ASAP or the 0600. But, well, sometimes. But I, I'm actually going to go with the 1 800 because, because uh, the, it gets closer to like when it's going to be nighttime a lot of the time when you do that one. So, I don't know. I think that's actually that's probably the one I usually pick just because I know, uh, I know the time. It'll be dark eventually. Sometimes it is better to do ASAP because sometimes in the game it's already dark. But you'd have to know which missions that for that to do that. I mean, but your target is a Spetsnaz detachment commander. Your orders are to take him out. With skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. But I'll leave the method up to you. see yeah they just want me to eliminate the Spetsnaz commander but there's like a bunch of side stuff most of it's like collect gems Yeah, one of them, uh, the requirements is actually to capture him, and so and plus you get benefits for capturing the guys they tell you to kill. So that's why I'm going to end up doing that. Those are raw diamonds. Collecting them as assets will raise our GMP. I'm just gonna leave the horse behind. I was thinking I could go up there, but 
I guess if this is what I'm going to do. Your target should be somewhere in that outpost. And don't forget, he has a Spetsnaz recon detail with him. Keep your guard up. Is that him? Take a good look at their faces so we can ID the targets. What's funny is if you have a Russian translator and you redo this mission, you can actually understand what they're saying. Funny is this little binocular thing also has a uh, mic on it. Like you can hear, like a directional mic, you can hear things that are really far away. I don't know if there's anyone else, but I feel like I marked pretty much everybody. He's gonna end up hanging her inside or around this building anyways. So it doesn't need to be perfect when you do all this. But I do try to capture some of these guys. Like on the outskirts of the areas. Let's see. Those materials have already been processed. It may not be much, but we can use them straight away if you bring them back to base. I mean, I wasn't expecting to get caught. Well, I knew I was sprinting, but I didn't think anybody was close enough to actually see me, you know? I used to have it memorized how, uh, the distance. Like the distance between uh, an NPC and Snake, like how long it would take them to actually be able to see him. But anyways, one thing I'm gonna say is there are actually a few things you could have done. You could do is you can walk into the building and uh, capture him. But if you, but if you're just trying to kill him, if you have a sniper, you can stay on top of those buildings. And I could have shot, like you know how I was seeing him. I could have just shot him from there, honestly.
That's the target. I want to get that tape. <laughs> so... This is going to be annoying. Should be good to go, it says 100%. But they're not giving the all clear just yet. Stay alert. Target secured. I'll tell the client we sent the target to a place outside of heaven. Boss, your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Don't hang around. Don't hang around. <laughs> Does exactly what he says not to do. Well. Shoot. So your suppressor is worn out. That gun will be as loud as any other now. If you have to shoot, be careful. Oh, he wasn't actually underneath the thing, so I could have done it. I was gonna try to recruit some dudes. Might not be worth it anymore now. So a sandstorm's come in. Sandstorms effectively make you blind and deaf. But that goes for the enemy too. Use the situation to your advantage. Roger. So yeah, a lot of time I just, I just call on a support chopper. You can just go into the iDroid, press down a few times, and push the helicopter button right here, and then just go over top of one of these spots. You can also upgrade your helicopter. And the, the helicopter noise gets so loud. But yeah, you can upgrade the helicopter and make it move faster, stuff like that. So it'll, it'll get here quicker to pick you up. Put guns on it, missiles, and all sorts of stuff. It's pretty cool.
Mission complete. Great work. <laughs> I got caught, so <laughs> it makes sense. But I still made money, and I got the heroism, and then I main thing is you got the rewards. How you feeling, boss? Getting used to being in the field again. Having choppers and horse at your disposal is indispensable for operating in the wilds of Afghanistan. I've gone ahead and arranged for you to be able to develop and customize weaponry for support choppers. And you can also develop new equipment for D-Horse if you like. Use your iDroid to start development as needed. Remember the guys you brought back from the base in Cuba nine years ago? Believe it or not, some of them survived that hell we went through. Word reached them that Big Boss is back and they want it in. They're good men. Our brothers in fate. They'll be glad to know you've seen them here. Hmm. <laughs> I get one of them's video. The, this I'm just gonna skip, though. By connecting your iDroid to the onboard computer, you turn the chopper into your own Aerial Command Center, or ACC. Some elements of staff assignment and R&D of weapons and items can only be performed from there. Take as long as you need to consider all your options. If you go over it now, it'll tell you all the stuff you needed to get for the mission tasks. Like all those mission tasks that were quest marks, if you actually beat the mission, it will then tell you what you need to get. And in fact, I think one of the tasks is to be kill him from a hundred meters away. So really, what you could do the second time is go get the uh, gem or that get the process materials here in Shagro Village. Pick up the Huama in the desert between Shagro Village and Spugman Keep. I'd get both of those, and then I would just go back and get in a good placement and probably just shoot that. Dude, or like you, or you could shoot the guy and then go do that. But uh, that's what I would do if you were to go back. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Have a good day.